Installation Kit The Futures Finbox installation kit consists of a router, router bit, jig plate, target, collar, Xbox shim, aluminum spacer, EVA shims, and the Timmy tool. Jig setup. Place the jig plate over the fin marks. Align the inside hash mark with a clear alignment target on the shaper's mark. The back of the box opening is always the trailing edge of the fin in the future's fin box. Use the Timmy Patterson tool to level the front and back of the jig plate. Make sure the tool touches the blank. This will assure you of a level box hole route. Side fins, three quarter inch box route. Insert the router into the donut on the aligned jig plate so that it has no side to side plate, only up and down plate. Turn the router on and slowly plunge the router while moving it back and forth. The progressively deeper cuts should be made without being too aggressive. With the router turned off and out of the donut, flip the donut so that it does have side to side plate. Turn the router on and slowly plunge the router. Slowly draw the router along the track's edge. Do a full rotation. Dry fit the route with your dummy fin in the box. Check the route depth before moving the jig plate. Center fin half inch box route. Use the center crosshair on the target to align the box position. Always use the router at full depth in the router shoe. Place the router in the deep side of the router collar guide, then turn the power on. Route the deep part of the box hole, then turn the router off. Wait until all parts stop moving, then turn the router guide over. Turn the router back on and route the flange part. Turn the router off. Blow off any shavings from the route. Then check the box route with your dummy fins. The route should be the exact depth and length for the fin boxes. Setting the box. Paint the entire route with laminating resin. Flood the route. Paint the entire contact surface of the fin box. Use enough resin so that a slight amount squeezes out from under the flange when the box is pressed into the hole at full depth. This will remove any trapped air. Press the box firmly into the hole. Use a brush or your finger to smooth out excess resin that squeezes out from under the box flange. Board lamination. Tape the box opening and screw hole ensuring a good tape seal that will keep resin out. Cut three football shaped pieces of glass large enough to cover a box. Place the glass cutouts over the boxes and pour a little resin on top of them. Now glass the board normally. The squeegee can pass right over the top of the boxes. With protective gloves, use your finger to remove any remaining air bubbles. Hot coat process. When grinding the laps for the paste before the hot coat, grind or prick any air bubbles that may have formed around the box. Paste is normal to fill all voids and proceed with hot coat.
Shine through the glass over the lip around the box opening, removing the tape at the same time. Grind down the lip as close as you can to the flange. Sand the board normally with a soft pad. You can sand right over the boxes. Finishing up. Clean out the box screw holes. Remove any excess tape out of the boxes as well. Use a Futures fin key to insert the box screws. Wipe the board down with a soft cloth. Your Futures fin installation is complete. Now it's time to go surfing.